Like I said, 12,500 newtons per cylinder. So on a four pot cylinder, you've nearly got 50 tons of uh, retention force. Matt, great case study at WAF Group, and, and we're going to review some of the applications that you've supplied them um, today, especially focusing on the fifth axis solution, but you've also supplied work holding for the EC400 horizontal, the VF4 SS, and now also the brand new UMC1000 SS. How did this relationship start? Well, it started about 18 months ago. Um William came to me, he at the time he'd just bought a UMC 500 uh, and he wanted a work holding solution for that, um, making small to medium batches. Some of the parts were quite small like this uh, and other, the par other parts you know, sort of filled the table. Uh, he wanted something flexible so we went with Microlock um, and we made a bespoke base plate to fit his machine. So we took the corner, corners off to, so it would fit inside the, the turning diameter. Um, and so that's how it started. Uh, he was very happy with the service we offered. Uh, and, and it obviously continued it later on with the horizontal and, and, the, and the vertical. Now we're going to focus, as mentioned, on, on the fifth axis solutions that you offer. But what pr problems did he present you with? Well, originally... Um, he obviously wanted to get more throughput and um, be able to put more parts on the machine at once. Um, but later on, um, I think his work slightly changed. And, and once he'd got the production facility set up on the, on the horizontal, he was using this for more small, small batch work. So that's when we introduced the, the zero point system. Um, I sold it to him as a flexible way of not just having your microlock table on top but also being able to put special fixtures to hold big round parts and things like this so so he's gone for the new airline system that we introduced uh, just last year it's a pneumatic zero point system twelve and a half thousand newtons per cylinder so it's very very powerful certainly for a pneumatic system uh, and he want, wanted the flexibility to be able to change over jobs very quickly you know within minutes you can be cutting a part on the micro lock table to be cutting a part on a, on a fixture so it's being able to change over quickly and, and keep the spindle going so is eliminating setup times effectively Matt? yes basically yes now talk us through this this system this is one of the first times that i've actually seen the zero point system that you offer on site talk us through it and 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 and, and how it all works well, we've always sold the, the VB Dock Lock um, hydraulic system. We've sold that for probably 15 years. We've got a lot of customers, very happy customers. But there are still some that, that don't want to have to buy the hydraulic pump. They want to be able to utilize the, the pneumatics they already have on the machine anyway. So VB have, have developed um, the new airline system. But always in the back of their mind was like, we don't want to lose power. Uh, and, and what can often happen if you have a pneumatic zero point system, it, it's not that powerful. The unique way that um, VB have um, designed this system, they don't lose any power. It's still very powerful. It's the most powerful pneumatic um, zero point system on the market. And like I said, 12,500 newtons per cylinder. So on a four pot cylinder, you've nearly got 50 tons of uh, retention force. So it's, it's very powerful. And, and I can see the future probably going more towards um, this new airline product. I mean, that's an, a, a really powerful statement in itself. Yeah. I mean, you know, that kind of clamping force is, is astonishing, really. Now, looking at the system and the repeatability that you get from it, obviously yeah. you're not going to get any vibration issues with that kind no, of clamping no. force. But what about repeatability? Uh, the whole system repeats to, to five microns. So... Uh, you know, you can take off a fixture, put another fixture on and take, put that one back and it's, you know, within five microns. So it's, it's very accurate. Now it's accommodating your microlock uh, base unit, your foundation yep. plate, if, if you like. How did you interface it with the zero point? Right, now the zero point system with a, with a four cylinder system, you would have one plug would be a centering plug. So that's where the accuracy comes from. And then you have like a timing plug that's a bit like a dowel location and then you have two retention plugs that just pull it down 
So what we had to do was modify the, the existing microlock base that he had directly bolted onto the machine. Um, we modified it, put the, the holes, the bores in the bottom uh, and put the plugs in so it would locate onto the zero point system. So we, we did that, that for him. So effectively putting pull studs on the bottom of your, yes. your, your fi on the bottom, sorry, of the microlock, or if he's got any other fixtures, he can also yeah. add these pull studs to other fixtures as well. Exactly, yeah. So he, he had a few other fixtures that he was using and he was having to unbolt off and take, you know, for holding big round parts and things like that. Um, and we modified those fixtures, put the plugs in, and again, literally within minutes, you can have it set up. So again, you know, it's eliminating setup times, but it's also giving you that versatility when using microlock or even other bespoke fixtures that he's got here on site. Yeah. So setup's absolutely massive. But looking at this fifth axis configuration, again, not very common, not what you'd usually see in the marketplace. You go out no. in the marketplace, you look at fifth axis machines, and predominantly you'll see one fifth axis vice on the table. That's what right. benefits does this configuration give any engineer, not just Will? Well, microlock's very flexible, as we know. Um, and the fact that you've got a base plate that would normally cover the whole machine table gives you more flexibility. Yes, microlock's a, a holding system. Uh, it's not going to, it's not a central, central gripping uh, system. It's a fixed jaw and vice jaws, but you've got more flexibility. And with someone like Will, who's probing his parts anyway, that's not that important, um, holding it centrally. So it's perfect for him because he, he's got the flexibility of being able to hold small parts one day, large parts another day, all with the same, same system. And you took the words out of my mouth about the, the, the probing system. I mean, you don't need the centric gripper when you're actually probing parts. No, no. Now, no. And, and taking it to the, the, the next level, really, and, and looking at applications, as you've, you, you've identified, you know, we've got four small components that are being presented to the spindle. But there's obviously capacity there to present lots more components to a fifth axis spindle, which is again exactly. is, is rather uncommon. But again, that flexibility, if you want to just hold one very, very large component, microlock accommodates for all of this uh, or all, all of these applications. Exactly right. I mean, if you wanted to, you could fit 12 of those parts on that on that that table. I know you might say, well, that's more of a vertical job and not a five axis job, but it, but it doesn't have to be all the time. It might have an angled hole on, 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 the, on the top of it. So, but again, with the same vices and fixed jaws, the next day you could put a big square or round part in the middle of the table and, and hold it. You know. I think it's an absolutely fantastic solution. You're presenting more parts to the spindle when needed. You can present a very large part to the spindle when required and you've eliminated setup times with extreme clamping force. I can't think of anything more than you would want from a work holding solution on a, on a fifth axis machine. Thanks, Matt, for this interview. Thank you.